Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Doris. I'm here to share with you about my stock account and today's market update. Today, the market has today the market has shown three anti-monopoly case falling hammer shut down the United States stock Big Seven and Nasdaq's historic moment. Currently, Google has two antitrust cases and Meta's monopoly acquisition will be brought to court. If it loses, the mode that weakens Google and Meta will be significantly weakened, and the long-standing mobile internet ecosystem could also be overturned. The, last summer, the seven sisters were the biggest contributor to the rally, supporting the return of the S&P 500 while it closed at just 4,175. 4, and buying 2024, U.S. stocks seven sisters in antitrust test. According to media reports this week, Google two antitrust cases, search monopoly closing arguments in early May, early except the Justice Department about the advertising monopoly lawsuit. The Federal Trade Committee will, will test monopoly with matter confrontation. In addition, the U.S. Department of Justice of Apple into the late first half of a full lawsuit. The analysis points out that the antitrust ruling could directly affect Google and Meta's monopoly position and weaken the ecological advantages of the tech giants. One professor said that, I think 2024 would be an important year for law enforcers, but as in America v. Google case, progress is slow. Currently, the Justice Department has heard an illegal monopoly of Google search engines, ruled by the end of 2024. After two months of the testimony, the jury trial ended in November. The U.S. District Judge Emmett Mehta said he did not know how to decide the core of the case. Google threw illegal agreement to consolidate its monopoly, making its search engine default search Apple and other products. Google controls about 90% of world's internet search. And Google argues that its search engine dominates because it is a remarkable product that produces the most relevant search results. Meta has scheduled two closing arguments in May, early May, and if he rules against Google, he will monitor another lawsuit to determine how to restore competition in the search market. Under U.S. antitrust law, judges can force Google to sell some of its businesses, but some legal experts say such practice is unlikely in this case. Google is also preparing a, to accept a large a lawsuit from the Justice Department in early 2024, calling it an illegal monopolist of the internet advertising platform market. The Department of Justice and some state attorney general filed a lawsuit in January 2023. The case was heard in Eastern District Court of Virginia, known as the Rocket Court, and because of the relatively fast schedule of hearing the case, the U.S. District Judge Leonid Brinkma in Alexander Virginia scheduled a pre-trial meeting for January 18th, six months ahead of the party suggested, and said he would then announce a trial date as early as March. It is worth noting that Google is now facing more NHL lawsuits, which could disrupt the mobile app economy and ultimately cost its billions of dollars in revenue. The U.S. Federal Trade Commissioner would confront Meta in court, filing a lawsuit against um, Meta in December 2020, and this year would be a verdict on Meta's antitrust case. The f file was mostly accusing Meta of illegally disrupting, com dis disrupting competition by acquiring potential competitors' information, such as information platform WhatsApp and photo sharing app in Instagram. Meta says these are competitive deals that benefit consumers. But when FTC asked Boisberg to move ahead with the lawsuit in December, Meta's lawyers retorted that the case was far from trial. 
is that they say is that the FTC has delayed from for nearly a decade to challenge a historic acquisition the agency reviewed in 2020, 2012, and 2014, and had no reason to claim that the case is now urgent. In addition to the three cases, the Justice Department's investigation into Apple is in the early stages, with a full antitrust lawsuit against the company's strategy to protect iPhone's dominance in the first half of this year. Three people familiar with the matter said, "The investigation has focused on Apple, how Apple can use other products and services to withstand threats to its core business and make it harder for consumers to abandon this device." And competitors to compete, citing people familiar with the matter. Specifically, investors examined why Apple Watch works better with iPhone than with other brands, and how Apple excluded competitors from iMessage services. People say that they also review Apple's iPhone payment system, which prevents other financial companies from offering similar services. This is all I have for today. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next episode.